It starts off with Will Smith and Carlton eating breakfast together. Jeffrey, their clinically depressed butler, comes in and asks Carlton if he could take out the trash. So on your way out, would you mind taking out the garbage? Do I look like rock? <laughs> Ashley, you take out the garbage. Why me? Because I'm bigger than you. See, that's not fair. That's only because you got them shoe lifts in the door. <laughs> Brady's just gonna slam garbage at me. Good morning, Will. Uh, good morning, Uncle Phil. Here's your lunch. Thank you. <laughs> Who puts all their garbage in a paper bag? I don't even understand what's going on here. It's not a realistic gag, bro. It's like eight people living in here. Y'all probably make a hella trash. It's not fitting in no single paper bag. Also, you the damn butler, nigga. I'll smack the shit out of this nigga. You better take it out yourself. It's literally your job. What's wrong with you? This is a terrible cold open. So y'all know the story of the Fresh Prince, right? He's from West Philadelphia. He gets into one little fight, and now he gotta stay at this giant mansion or something. That's a dope ass punishment, right? What kind of hoe ass shit is this though, when you think about it? This nigga fled the whole state off one ass whooping. That's crazy, soft ass nigga. What are you doing, bro? Go home and face your problems. Anyway, they all eating breakfast now. Wasn't they just eating goddamn breakfast? Find another way to start your scenes off. Will is fumbling around with his books and he doesn't have time for his schoolwork or his girlfriend or his basketball. Also, he got a job too. And on top of all that, prom is right around the corner. I mean, between my schoolwork and Cindy and you know, my job and Cindy. <laughs> wow, you think I'm neglecting Cindy? Bro, who the fuck is Cindy? She was never in any episodes before this. These niggas try and gaslight me. They always giving Will Smith random girlfriends and homeboys that nobody care about. Just two episodes ago, he was trying to marry Kim Fields or something stupid like that. Y'all just writing anything back in the day. No continuity. Y'all ain't even care, huh? That's a generic ass name too. Cindy? Come on, bro. They used the same name for one of Carlton's girlfriends earlier this same season. Like, just a few episodes ago. Y'all writing niggas lazy, Loki. Carlton! Cindy! I, uh have something that belongs to you. Oh, fuck! Anyway, Will is having a hard time balancing his life, all his activities. This random NPC comes over and offers him some drugs to help him stay awake. You hot as shit, boy, in the middle of the hallway. Also, you giving it out for free? The whole thing? Why? Who are you? He's to help you stay awake. You done speed before, right? No, I didn't, and I didn't think you was living like that either. I'm into whatever gets the job done just in case. It's almost time for prom, but Will Smith is falling asleep on the couch in his giant tuxedo. Oh, hell nah. This nigga got on that Tom and Jerry tuxedo. He's thinking about popping them speed pills. Uh, speed is basically like Adderall or something, I think, right? It's like an amphetamine. I know that. Maybe it's stronger than Adderall. I don't know. I don't do this shit. Why are they prescribing this to people anyway? What kind of medical benefits does this shit even have? Did you ever think about taking, you know, drugs? I mean, the, the kind of drugs that, that help you stay up. Up? This sex thing is even more complicated than before. Bro, I can't get over this nigga's tuxedo. That's crazy. This wacky ass fit. You look like you're going to a fucking Bugs Bunny funeral. This is really how niggas was dressing, huh? Their dates come over and everybody's finally headed off to the prom. They get there and Will is still falling asleep. Carlton's got a huge pimple and he's been freaking out about it since the episode started. Come on, Will, you gotta help me. This could be the biggest night of my life. You had to go along with the biggest zit of your life. Man, <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Will says he might have some vitamin E in his locker to help with the pimple. Is that a thing? High school niggas be having vitamin E and beauty products in their locker? Maybe at rich schools, I guess. I don't know nothing about it. Carlton gets a hold of those speed pills and he pops them right there at the locker with no water, like he Max Payne or somebody. Why does every TV show and movie show people taking pills like this? What have you ever seen somebody do this in real life? It's not that common. <laughs> she just want my love, so she gon' love me. I got some more white G-Pesos on my feet. And you know my boxers, PSD. Wee-haw! This 
episode of Crim Says Cinema is sponsored by ShipStation. The economy is in a weird spot right now. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. So if you run a small business and you want to keep it popping, you got to find some ways to save money. Shipping stuff can be expensive, bro. That's a big thing. ShipStation will give you access to discounts of up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And you can manage every order from one single dashboard. You can print all your labels on there. You can link it to all your online stores, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. All this from one dashboard too. It's super duper easy to use. Now I can send out all these weak ass t-shirts and hoodies with no problem on sale now. Over 130,000 companies have grown their businesses with ShipStation, and 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Go to ShipStation.com and use my code PRIM to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code PRIM. You're a good business person. Thank you for listening. Thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring as well. Let's get back to the prom now. Carlton high as shit now, and he getting sturdy on the dance floor. Everybody love him. It's a good ass time, Loki. You should do drugs more often, bro. I don't even see a pimple on his face, by the way. Like, did they not even add a fake pimple on this nigga? That's wild. Yeah, I'm not seeing a pimple, bro. To be fair, the show was meant to be watched on a scrambly ass 90s TV. It's fine, I get it. I feel great. Even though I was feeling insecure before, but then I realized it doesn't matter anyway because beauty is skin deep and that's who's inside that counts. Your cousin's pretty wild. I guess he's got that kind of natural speed thing going. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Will starts getting concerned about Carlton now. That random guy from earlier pops up and offers some more drugs. That's when Will puts it all together and he tries to get Carlton to a doctor. But it's too late and Carlton dies on the spot. It's a really sad episode. Listen, something terrible is happening, man. Come on, I gotta get you to the hospital. Why? This is the greatest night of mine. Oh, 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 oh. I really miss my nigga. Carlton is in the hospital now, and Will is there by his side. Was at the hospital, babe. He wakes up and he says he doesn't remember what happened at all. Carlton, you're, you're at a hospital. I never thought losing my virginity would be this painful. <laughs> you never made it past the dance floor. Um, those pills that you took weren't vitamins. Will confesses that those secret pills was actually some drugs. Carlton starts freaking out about it now. Nigga, you the one taking random, unlabeled pills. You didn't expect nothing to happen to you? The nurse comes in and she says they gotta keep Carlton overnight so he can detox. They don't want to do that, so they start begging the nurse to let them go home. But we will have to keep you here in the chemical dependency unit overnight. Excuse me? I don't think you understand. See, Carlton is not addicted to drugs. Well, can we at least move me to another part of the hospital? I mean, I've got a reputation to worry about. The first time I came into this hospital, it was on a stretcher. Hell, I've been from Yale to jail. That's really touching. But do you think you can get me a nurse without a record? <laughs> Bro, you can just leave whenever you want. Why are you even trying to plead your case to this lady? She can't legally keep you in here. What, she gonna tackle you and shit? Just go home. Just wait till she leave the room or something if you're that freaked out about it. These soft ass 90s kids, man, can't even handle their drugs or nothing. He would never survive school today, bro. He popped two Adderall and he about to pass away. That's crazy. Honey. Are you okay? I think so. Carlton, you cannot take unidentified pills. It's just plain stupid. I will. I just want to thank you. You showed quick thinking and sound judgment. I mean, I guess, bro. His cousin fainted in the middle of the prom. Why would he not call the ambulance? I'm sure the school called or something anyway. It's not much of a judgment call, is what I'm saying. Anyway, Uncle Phil keeps complimenting Will and he starts feeling real guilty now. The next day, Carlton comes home and everybody's glad that he's okay. Will Smith still can't shake his guilt though and he has this heart-to-heart -heart moment about drugs or something. Don't do drugs, kids in the world. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Hey, look, y'all mind if I talk to Carlton for a second? Hey, um... Thanks a lot for covering for me, man. Will, you're not the only one who's ever thought about taking drugs. 
But after last night, I'll never think about it again. Look, I'm sorry, man. I mean, you're my homie, and I almost took you out. I'm sorry, man. So in that Fresh Prince gritty reboot they got going on, Carlton is definitely doing drugs on the regular. So you're a liar, bro. Now, I wonder if this episode had anything to do with that part of the story. I don't really be watching it. I just thought that was notable. Anyway, the next day, Uncle Phil is still in here dick riding. He gives Will some season tickets to the Clippers and he keeps praising him until he finally confesses. Uncle Phil gets mad as shit and he brings the whole family in to confront Will. He does that whole Will Smith crying face thing. You know what I'm talking about. This is actually some good acting here. Will Smith is definitely talented even though he wearing this stupid ass shirt with magic school oh buses God. all over it. What is this? This is really how niggas was dressing back in the day. Those pills that Carlton took, um, they were from my locker. My son could have died because of you. Look, I know Uncle Phil, that's all I've been thinking about. I'm sorry, Aunt Beth. I mean, I, I had basketball practice and I had finals and everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hillary. It's okay. Come on. Now the episode's just over. Everybody's sad because Carlton couldn't handle his drugs. Great episode, Winifred Hervey and Stallworth. This nigga got one name? Oh, no, wait. It's Winifred Hervey Stallworth. It's one person. Got you. The long ass aristocrat name. So this is a classic episode. It's a classic show. It's still got a lot of funny moments in it. It's definitely dated as a motherfucker. I don't want to say it aged poorly, but it definitely aged. Even still, it's worth a rewatch. It aged better than a lot of other 90s sitcoms. Hillary Banks is fine as hell. Just throwing that in there. Yeah, go watch it. It's on HBO Max if you got that. Thanks for watching though. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Don't do drugs, kids of the world. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die.